In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Minimax's image to video. I'll show you how you can create some insanely realistic videos and how to get really creative with it, along with loads of other tips and tricks. Okay, let's get into it. So at the time of recording this video, they announced that they are releasing a paid plan, which is probably out by the time you're watching this. This is quite frustrating as Minimax was known for being free and really high quality. They do have quite a cheap plan at $10 a month, and at least they allow you to do some free generations. I really do think it's still worth to check out and use the free generations when you can. Okay, back to the video. This video is broken up into chapters, and each one will focus on a certain category. Feel free to skip to the ones that interest you the most, but believe me, you will want to watch all of them. So to start off, I'm going to show you how to create some insanely realistic videos. Let's jump onto the Minimax website. You may get a Chinese version of the website pop up, but just make sure to translate the page into English. Now, as you'll see, they've added in this image button here. So you'll be able to add any image that is a JPEG or PNG, which is below 20 megabytes and between the aspect ratio of 2x5 and 5.2. So it's extremely easy, you just have to add your image in, and then you can either put a prompt in, or just leave it blank, and you can choose to use the enhance prompt button here. So now I'll show you how to create some realistic looking images so we can use them in Minimax. There are a couple of websites which we can use, and I'll leave the links down below to both of them. And the good thing about these websites is they give you free credits to use, so that should last you a while. What we are looking for is using the Flux 1.1 Pro model, which gives you some insanely realistic looking images. And the trick is to use a prompt which is like an image file. So this one is img underscore 1020.cr2. And the cr2 is an image file format. And then after that, you can put in your subject. So for this one, I'll put in man, and let's see what it makes. And there you go, it looks like a selfie taken on a phone, which is pretty awesome. So you can also change the name, so you can put img underscore man dot jpeg, and these are just a few examples. So I've got this picture of a man here, then this weird one here with a kind of fire behind him, and then we got this one, which does look like a photo that was taken off a phone, and I would have no idea that it was created by AI. And you can even try animals. And here we have a really cute photo of a dog. And yeah, it just gives it that kind of realistic um, smartphone photo kind of look to the image. And here we have a cat. So I'll take some of the images that I've created and we'll see how Minimax turns them into videos. So all you have to do is click on there, upload the image, and you can type in what you want the prompt to do. So for this one, I'll just put a man is looking happy and you can use this prompt enhancer if you want, which will add more detail to the prompt. And I actually leave this on most of the time. Now, because at the time of recording, this is quite a new feature, there may be quite a lot of people in the queue ahead of you. So sometimes you do have to wait up to around five to 10 minutes, but sometimes it can do it really quickly. So let's have a look at the video. <laughs> and it looks pretty good, to be honest. It's got some realistic facial animations. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with how that turned out. All I put in the prompt was a man is looking happy and he looks extremely happy. It seems to have kept the consistency in his face, which is really good. And yeah, this is very impressive. Now let's have a look at some other examples of realistic people turned into videos. So I generated an image of this man using the same model as before. And I put in the prompt an old man sitting still, but Minimax interpreted it as him writing on the paper. And it looks incredibly realistic and they've absolutely nailed the movement. Here is another image which I created, which looks just like a photo taken at a party. And here's one of the videos without any prompt at all. And it looks pretty good. And then there's this one where I added into the prompt handheld phone footage, and it looks really good. There's a bit of warping going on behind them, but other than that, it's got a really organic and natural kind of movement to the shot. It's also really good at doing expressions and emotions. So in this one, I used the same image from before, but put a man starts crying. I do feel bad for making him cry as it looks so real. And here I have a photo of a man on the street. 
and I put in the prompt for a man looking happy, and it looks pretty good. There's some weird artifacts in the background with a car just appearing out of nowhere, but then this one looks incredible. I put a man starts crying, and he just starts breaking down in a really realistic way. And in this photo I've got a man eating something, and I wanted him to be disgusted at what he just ate. And it nailed the facial animation on this one, even though his hands do get a bit warped. And in this one I wanted him to start laughing, and it looks really good. He kind of pulls something out of his mouth there, which is a bit weird, but other than that, it's got a really natural laughing movement and animation. And here is the man eating something, and he's just completely in shock. And I love the way he transitions from eating to a completely shocked face. It's pretty funny. Now this one is completely wild. As you can see, it's just glitching everywhere. And it looks like he's having quite the experience. And here we have a man who wakes up and is scared. And I think it's just an incredible transition from him sleeping to being woken up and alert. You can definitely feel that he is expressing some kind of fear in the moment. And here's another one of someone sleeping and waking up scared. And he looks terrified. And here I had an image of a man drinking a beer in a club, and it made an insanely realistic video. You can even see the liquid in the bottle start to move, and just his realistic eye movement really sells the shot. And I love this one of this older lady, and she just starts cracking up realistically. And as it's got that kind of black and white kind of old filter to it, it just adds to that realism. And this one has some really realistic camera movement in it as well. As she starts laughing, but then kind of gets distorted near the end. But before it starts to kind of get distorted, I think it looks incredible. When I add in handheld motion footage to the prompt, it does add a bit more realism to the movement. Now let's have a look at how well it works with visual effects. So this is a very simple one. I'm using the image of a man that I showed earlier, and I wanted a hat to fall on his head. And it created this video, <laughs> which is very comical. And he even finds it funny himself. And here I have a very simple photo I took of a mug on my table, and I gave it a prompt for it to float off the table and explode. And it looks really interesting. It kind of spins around and warps and then kind of explodes into what looks like paper. But yeah, it's a very interesting style. And in this one, I'm using a photo I took of my car and I put in the prompt for the car to explode. And it's created an awesome and realistic looking explosion, which has simulated smoke and fire in a realistic way. So I'm very impressed with how this turned out. And again, this image of a kind of flooded street in a village I wanted to see how well it worked with a kind of water simulation, and it produced a realistic simulation of a tsunami coming through the village. And while we're talking about visual effects, let's see how good it works with green screen effects. So it works really well with green screen images, as this image I had here, which I just grabbed from Vecteezy, worked really well. It's created a awesome looking explosion, and then you can take this footage and put it onto anything you want and use a free video editor like CapCut and use their green screen removal tool to then easily compose it onto any shot. And then I tried something a little bit different. So I took this image I found from a royalty free stock website and Minimax turned it into this video, which is really interesting. So everything around the screen is animated in a realistic way and it's kept the green screen on the monitor. So now I can put anything I want into that screen, which is pretty awesome. Now let's have a look at how well it works with graphics, logos, and text. As you can see, I took the Atomic Gains logo and asked it to start melting and explode. And while it didn't explode, it added really cool dripping animation to the logo. This is pretty awesome as it allows you to create your own motion graphics, which you can use for your intro to your videos. And in this one, I gave it a kind of comic book action graphic, and it did a really cool animation to it. So you can use this as a background if you want, and I think it works really well. And here I tried it on a like and subscribe graphic, and it added a really cool animation to it. And if you could like and subscribe, <laughs> that would be awesome. Now let's have a look at how well it works with animation. It works really well with different kinds of animation and art styles. 
As you can see, I've got this image of this anime looking woman in a forest, and I prompted it for a woman looking scared. And it's done a really good job to keep it animated. It's kept all the nice lighting from the sun coming through the forest, and the mouth animation looks really good. And I used this kind of Pixar CGI style for this boy. And I was blown away by the animation that it created. It looks absolutely seamless. And it's even animated the little toggles on his coat. And it's kept him consistent, which is really surprising. So he even looks away, looks back at the camera, and it just keeps it all looking very seamless and just very professional. I even tried a claymation style, so I've got these two characters, and I added the prompt of slow motion, and it looks awesome. And it's done a really good job at blending the characters and animating them going off screen. And here we have a kind of stop motion claymation figure. And again, it does a really good job at keeping her consistent. So she looks away, looks back, and it's got really good animation on the face. And I even tried a Lego style. And it looks so good. It's even got this really nice cinematic camera movement in the shot. I also tried it on a line drawing, and it added in some really nice facial animation. It works really good on a puppet style kind of animation as well. And here's an image from a character in comic book style art. And it's really interesting, the video, as it adds this dynamic camera movement in the background, and add some really unique facial animation. Let's have a look at how well it works with animals. It works exceptionally well with animals. So I generated an image of a dog using that realistic image generator, and I am blown away by the video. The movement on the dog is incredibly realistic, and I would have no idea that this was created with AI. And here's another one of a cat, and it just nails that cat movement perfectly. And here I have an image of a lion, and he created a video that looks straight out of a documentary. And here we have a shark, and I prompted it with slow motion, so it adds that really nice kind of slow cinematic look to it. Now here's a tip if you want to extend your videos. So I really liked the footage of the dog that I got, but I wanted it to last longer. So what I did was I took a snapshot of the last frame of that video, and then I put it through Minimax again to create a second video. And this is the video that it created. And again, it looks so good. So all I did was take this second video, add it to the end of the first one, and you can add a blend in between the files if they don't match perfectly. And it created a really nice extended video. So this is just an easy method to extend your videos if you do want to. Let's have a look at trying some landscape images. It works really well with landscape style videos, and I actually tested it with a prompt of time lapse, and it creates this really realistic kind of wave motion coming in on the beach. With the time lapse prompt, it created this really nice kind of change in the colors coming from the sky. Now here's another shot I used with the time lapse prompt, which gives it a really nice color gradient. So if you want to get this effect, make sure to put time-lapse in your prompt. And here is a photo from a trek I was doing in New Zealand. It's just added in some subtle ripples to the water, and it looks really believable. And here I have an image of some rocks in the sea, and it created an ultra-realistic looking wave crashing around those rocks. It's insane how real it looks. And here I generated an image of a river using that realistic image generator, and it created some amazing flowing water down the river. It looks like it's shot straight from a smartphone. Now, if you want to take your video to the next level and make them look even more realistic, then what I do is I take my video and run it through Topaz Video AI. I then convert the video from 25 frames per second to 60 frames per second. And then you can even add some handheld camera shake to the shots if you want to. Doing this, I think, makes the shot look even more realistic. It's kind of scary, to be honest, how real we can make AI videos look nowadays. So please be responsible with making your videos and when sharing them online. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video. And I hope you can see the benefits of this tool. If you have any tips or tricks, please leave them in the comment section down below. 
and if you could like and subscribe to this channel, that would be awesome. If you're interested in watching any of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.